Latoya Matthews and welcome to my show. We have another segment in Cooking 101. And what are we cooking up today? Eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. I have two delicious recipes for you for eggs that are quick and easy and you can store and eat them every day. Okay, let's get started. Let me get some things from my fridge and we'll get ready to rock. Okay, what we'll need is a couple dozen of eggs. Broccoli. Now with both of these meals, what came across is I'm very busy. And a lot of times I want to eat something early in the morning because it satisfies me and it keeps me from overeating later in the day. When I don't eat early, I tend to eat a little bit too much later in the day. So I wanted to come up with a recipe where I could have some eggs because eggs are so satisfying that they keep you full longer. I'm just going to rinse this broccoli off right fast. And so I came up with this meal. The hardest thing about this meal is chopping up this broccoli. Okay. Now, as I said, I wanted something that I could have and prepare and eat it later. So, with the broccoli, I decided to bake some eggs. Now, long before I knew anything about a frittata, which is baking eggs, we just called it um, bacon and egg. <laughs> and then I found out I was watching one of those cooking shows and they call it a frittata. So what I'm basically going to do is we're going to make some egg cake. We are going to chop up this broccoli really, really small into little bits and pieces. And this is about the most challenging thing. Now if you have a food processor, you probably can chop this up a lot faster. And it doesn't matter how you chop it, just make sure it's all really nice and fine. And I thought about this, if you have kids, this is a perfect way to get them to eat breakfast in the morning. Are you familiar with that book, Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I Am? I do not like those green eggs and ham. Well, this is some green eggs. When I get finished with this, because of the broccoli, it covers the egg and makes them green. So it's something you can work into a story for your little kids. Eggs are extremely satisfying. They'll keep you full for a longer, long time. An excellent source of protein. So I'm just gonna chop these up. And get them into my bowl. I'm going to use an entire container of eggs. That's all 12 eggs. And once I prepare it, I'm going to section it off and I'll be able to eat it every single morning. And what I do is, I'll show you, but I cut them into sections. And it makes about a dozen eggs, makes it about into six different sections. And in those six sections, it's just like two eggs per day. Now, if you have a problem with high cholesterol, you may want to watch it. But for everyone else, if your cholesterol is pretty normal, you can have two eggs per day. And the way I have it cooked up with my broccoli, you're actually having a serving of vegetables with your broccoli. I mean with your eggs. Because it's almost a cup of broccoli in every square. And I cut these things up. I'm going to chop it all in. And you know broccoli is a very nutritious vegetable. And it's quite inexpensive. 
Okay. Now I'm going to use 12 eggs. Now you can check my website, LatoyaMatthews.com, and I'll have the basic nutritional value of eggs broke down. There's a lot of good things about eggs. For a minute, eggs had gotten a bad rap. They were talking about that they were bad with cholesterol. That's when everybody was tripping on the high cholesterol numbers and everything. But then, and I think it was like in 2010 or 11, they released a new report stating that eggs are actually not that bad for you at all. So if you have a problem with high cholesterol, you may not want to eat these every single day. But it is a good thing to eat the egg, the white and the yolk, both portions. This is such a one, two, three recipe. And if you can prepare these things in advance, you'll have a balanced meal for every, uh, all day. Okay, and then bingo, cheese. Now you know cheese makes everything taste good. I'm gonna put this whole container. Now I am using, today, I'm using sharp cheddar. But I've also made this meal that I've used pepper jack, and American cheese. But today I'm using sharp cheddar and I throw the whole bag in there. I just dump it in there, get rid of this, and get something to stir this with. Okay, I'm also going to add some onion powder, some garlic powder, And some nice ground pepper. Now, I don't use salt, but if you want to, you can sprinkle some salt or any type of seasoning that you prefer. Um, before I gave up salt, I used to always like seasoned salt. And I used to put that in here. But now, since I'm down on really kicking back on my sodium, I don't use any salt. I try to get the natural flavor of food. And it may take you a while because our taste buds, buds are so diluted from always having salt and heavy processed foods. Okay, that should be enough. Now we're just gonna stir it all together. And as I stir, I turn the bowl. And you talk about a cheesy good egg? Oh, it's absolutely delicious. And cheese is another high form of protein. So with this, you won't need any bacon, you won't need any sausage, ham, or anything else. Everything you need is right here. You got your carbs, which are combined with your protein. It's a complete meal right here. So we're just gonna stir it all up. Okay, and that's it. Now I'm gonna spray my pan. I've got some olive oil here, but you can use any kind of spray that you eat like. So it won't stick, spray it really well, and pour it on. Now preheat your oven to 375, and it'll let it cook for about 15 minutes. Now one thing for sure, make sure this is done completely. This is not the type of time for you to have runny eggs because you're gonna store it. So make sure it's cooked completely. Okay, and I'm gonna pop this inside the oven. Now before I do that, I'm gonna cook my second round two meal. Now this next one I call, it's like a Tex-Mex. And you talk about easy, both of these store well inside the fridge and you can carry them. Now this one, you can't eat it and drive. The broccoli and eggs, you'll see once I cut it up into cubes, you can actually drive with it. With this, you'll probably have to use a fork because it gets a little runny. Now with this one, I'm going to use some black beans. And some diced green chili tomatoes with our cheese. So again, we're using a dozen eggs. 
I'm giving you two great recipes that your family will love. You can prepare both of these in advance. And you can store them inside the refrigerator. So when you all are about to run out of the door in the morning, you just grab one, throw it inside the microwave for a couple of moments, and the kids can eat them on their way to school. Now, if you really have time with both of these, they make a great brunch menu. So if you're inviting some people over to the house, it's a great way to entertain also. You can cut these up into nice size squares, serve them on a piece of toast. And what really makes it elegant, if you're entertaining, with the toast, cut the corners off, all of the edges, and it makes it look so nice, and cut them in triangles instead of squares. Okay, let me get this out the way. Just want to clean this off a bit. There we are. And I've got to get my strainer so I can strain those beans. I'm going to rinse that out right fast. Now with both of these, my black beans and also my diced green tomatoes, I'm going to make sure I drain them very well. And with the black beans, I'm going to rinse them also to get any ex um, excess sodium or any debris. And also because they're black. And if you don't rinse them off, everything will turn black. So I like to rinse it off right and I just run the water over them until it turns clear. And everybody knows that beans are a great source of fiber. So you want to get everything moving in the morning. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And I've got to spray this down. Let's spray it with my olive oil spray and I'm just going to make a layer of beans right there Okay. one flat make sure it's flat don't let them pile up Boom. and that's it I'm going to stir my eggs up real fast beat my eggs Now with this, because I'm using those tomatoes that are really spicy, I'm not seasoning my eggs at all. I will put a bit of pepper in them, and that's it. Again, if you all want to, you can put some salt in them or whatever type of seasoning that you like. But for me, I'm just going to drop a little bit of pepper, and that's all. I'm going to um, put in my diced tomatoes and green chilies. Now I'm going to drain these because, as I said, I want to store it and I don't want them to be runny. I like the green chili with the tomatoes they have a nice little spicy flavor to it it's got a little kick now if you don't like spicy food 
just get regular diced tomatoes. I like the canned ones because they're easy to use. And next, the finishing touch, cheese. Again, I'm using the sharp cheddar cheese. I won't be using the whole bag this time though. But you want to use a hef hefty amount because this is what's going to bring the whole flavor together is the cheese. So don't be stingy. Put that cheese all on there. The cheese is going to melt all down there in it. And boy, you're talking about good. And that's all. I'm going to put this in the oven. Again, I preheated my oven to 375. I'm going to cook both of these for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're completely done solid through. They, you want them solid. You do not want runny eggs. And I've got another bit of information for you. If you're baking a lot and you want to keep a clean oven, put a piece of foil down at the bottom of your oven. That way anything that runs over, it'll drip inside there. And that's it. So we're going to check back in about 15 minutes and we're going to see what's cooking. Okay, it should be ready. We had our oven set at 375 preheated and it's been cooking now for about 15 minutes. You want to make sure it's all the way done. Ooh, wow. And it smells delicious. That's our broccoli and cheese. And this is our black bean Tex Mix. Now here comes the great part with this one. I'm going to show you how I utilize this and eat it and divide it up. What I'll do is I'll cut it up and put it inside some plastic baggies. And then every day I'll pull out one and I can eat it. This one right here I can eat as I drive. Let me get started and show you. Now I'll cut it straight down the middle. And this makes six egg cakes. Now if you want to, I've even sometimes cooked these inside of muffin pans. I'm going to have a little left one here. Okay. I'm just going to lift them up and put them inside a container. And these last for about a week. And you just cut them all and you put them inside the container. And then you put each container inside the fridge. Now with our Tex Mix, you can do the same thing. The difference is with this one, I wouldn't eat it in dry because the beans, it gets a little runny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you another recipe with these eggs. I'm going to make an egg roll. <laughs> Not a Chinese egg roll. Have some sprouted grain tortillas. Okay, so it's very simple. I'm just going to take the tortilla shell. I'm going to take one of my squares. Oof, and this is delicious. We have the black beans. We have cheese. I'm cutting it in half. I'm laying it off along. And I have that lovely tomato or green chilies and I'm just going to roll it. And fold this in and roll. Fold this in and roll. Now 
Now I'm going to fix us a plate. Now with both of these, you can also store this in your container with the plastic bag. And I'm just going to wrap these up real fast, put them all in, and get them ready to go inside my refrigerator. And every morning when I wake up, now I'll have a, something that's nutritional and easy, and I can eat it one, two, three. Eggs are an excellent source of protein. They give it a lot of energy. They're nutritional value. And if you're really into eating healthy, you can buy the organic eggs. Look at the bottom. You can see I'll have all of the black beans. And the black beans have a lot of fiber. And the, it tastes absolutely delicious. If you want to use this recipe for a brunch, you can. You can cut these squares really small and set them on little crackers or toast. I mean, it's so many different ways you can do. But what I wanted to do is just to show you, being a busy mother or busy wife, that you can have healthy meals. For the lady on the go, you can prepare these, stick them inside the refrigerator, and your family can be ready to go. And I'm going to do this right fast. I'm going to show you with this particular one that I tell you that I eat on the go is now once it's cold in the fridge, it's real hard. I cut these additional into squares. And then I put the egg squares inside my bag and that's when I'm driving, I just pop a square in my mouth. And I get a nice eight to 10 ounce glass of nice water with this. And that's my breakfast. And since I make six out of each, that's like two eggs each container. And if you're on a low carbs diet, this is perfect because it has a lot of protein, all your nutritional value, but low carbs. And that's how you have breakfast on the go. A fast food meal that you made at home. And roll. I have two breakfast burritos here. and cheese and I have my Tex-Mex with black beans. Now this is a wonderful meal and it's all ready. Now it took me what all of about 40 minutes to prepare all of this and I have a, over two weeks worth of meals. I wouldn't cook all of these at one time. I would do either or. I would either do my broccoli and cheese or I would do the Tex-Mex 
and then I would have it every morning. Every morning I would pull one of these out and have it. Or I would have, if I'm on, if I'm not on my um, low carbs diet, then I have the tortilla, my breakfast burritos. So with all of this information, you'll be able to see more of it at LatoyaMatthews.com. I'll have the nutritional value and some other um, great tidbits, bonus bits regarding eggs. The new one, two, three meals on protein. The hottest thing that's out is eggs. So thank you so much for tuning in. I enjoyed you. And thanks again. And remember, if you can't give anything else, you can always give a smile. Take care.